This tutorial will cover how to vectorize a graphic using Roland Engrave Studio software. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and launch Roland Engrave Studio. Once we've launched Roland Engrave Studio, first thing we need to do is specify the machine we're going to output to and create a new file. We're going to create a plate Specify the size, the thickness of the material, your units, and your XY origin position to match the hardware of your machine. And click OK. To import the graphic, we can simply go to File, Import Bitmap, or we can click on the icon for Import Bitmap for Tracing. We'll navigate to the folder where our graphic is stored, select the graphic, and click Open. Once we have the graphic open, we can select the graphic and select Fit Vectors to Bitmap. That will bring up our Trace Bitmap window. Engrave Studio can trace a color bitmap or a black and white, so there's no need to convert to a black and white prior to bringing it into Engrave Studio. This particular graphic is black and white, so we will select black and white image. We can specify the threshold of the image, which will adjust the density of the file. For the corners, we can specify a nice tight corner. And for the noise filter, we can go in and adjust the noise filter to try to clean up as much noise from the image as possible. Once we've done so, we simply click Fit Vectors. This will place the vectors on our graphic. Once we've completed, we can click on Close. We can click on the graphic itself, and you notice it turned black again. We can move the graphic and delete it using the Delete key on our keyboard. At this point, we will have our individual nodes. So at this point, we can go in and clean up any points that we don't need. Once we've cleaned up the graphic, we can sweep select the graphic by using our mouse. We can group the selected vectors to make it one element. If I want to take my graphic and center it on my page, I can select Center and Material from my Align Vectors group. And at this point, I can apply a toolpath to this. I can click on the toolpath window, click on the thumbnail to tack it to my screen. I can specify my material setup. And I can go into my Create Quick Engraving Toolpath window. Once you're in the Quick Engrave window, we can specify the tool that we want to use to engrave. I will select a .03 engraving tool. You can specify your feeds and speeds and click OK. For the depth and pressure, we can specify how deep we want to engrave or if we're nose cone engraving, specify the pressure we want to put down. We can engrave as an outline or as a fill. For the fill pattern, we can do either an offset or a hatch fill. If we're nose cone engraving, we can specify that we're using a nose cone. Set the depth identical to our depth pressure setting. And for number of passes, we want to use one. We can rename the fill path. And we can then click on Calculate. Once we calculate the toolpath, it'll show us our toolpath on the screen. And at this point, we're ready to output to our engraver. This concludes our tutorial. For more information on this and other Roland products, please visit www.rolanddga.com.